Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have a problem similar to the previous problem, except that both of the vectors now are pointing at an angle related or in reference to the x-axis. And we're given the magnitudes to be 6 and 10 for the two vectors, but notice that they're directed away from the x-axis. And now again, we're supposed to find the dot product between A and B. Again, it's a good idea to get a visual picture of what's happening, so let's go ahead and draw the xy plane. Here's the uh, y-axis and the x-axis, so let's draw our first vector. It's at uh, an angle of 20 degrees above the x-axis with a magnitude of 6, kind of like this. So here's our a vector, it has a magnitude of 6 and an angle of 20 degrees. Now let's draw our b vector. It has a longer magnitude and it's a much higher angle, so here would be our b vector. It has a magnitude of 10, and it has an angle of 70 degrees relative to the x-axis. Now we can note the angle between the b vector and the a vector, and I guess I should put a little line on top so there we can see it's a vector. So here we have the angle now between the two. Let's call it angle theta, and the angle theta is going to be equal to the difference between those two angles, which is 70 degrees minus 20 degrees, which is 50 degrees. So you need to establish the angle between the two vectors. Why is that? Well, that is because we know that the dot product a dot b is equal to a times b, the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b, times the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. So really it doesn't matter which way the vectors are oriented as long as we can find the angle between the two vectors, which in this case is 50 degrees. That means that the dot product, a dot b, is equal to the magnitude of a, which is 6, times the magnitude of b, which is 10, times the cosine of the angle between them, which is 50 degrees, which is equal to 60 times the cosine of 50 degrees. And for that, we're going to need a calculator. Take 50, the cosine of that, which is 0 0.643. So this would be equal to 60 times 0 0.643, which is equal to 38 point, rounded off to 6, so about 38.6. Again, notice that the dot product between two vectors gives us a scalar quantity, no direction, it's not a vector quantity, and that would then be the solution of that dot product, and that is how it's done.